to prove that there's a flaw in the system. It's that simple. Hamilton Evans lives and votes in Ludawisi. He admits up front and without reservation, he voted twice in the June 9th election, and he blames it on the voting system in Georgia. The system shouldn't have worked that way. It should have right then told me, no, you've already voted, and it don't. It let me, it let me vote twice. Voting records obtained by the I-Team show Evans voted once during the early voting period and a second time when he took his wife to vote on election day. While waiting for his wife at this voting precinct, he says a volunteer asked for his ID and gave him a ballot. Evans voted again and immediately left to tell the sheriff why he voted twice. The reason I'd done that was to, to, just to prove a point that it's not set up right. If I did it, how many other people did it? The very fact that people can vote twice in elections to me is just blatantly disturbing. This lawyer thinks he knows the answer. Jake Evans has filed a legal challenge on behalf of Long County Probate Judge Bobby Smith. Smith lost by nine votes. Evans is now updating that challenge with more voter information, claiming that at least seven people voted twice in the election, including you walk up Hamilton no Evans. Idea. What I thought, hope will happen, that they'll change the system. The picture where that can't happen to nobody. Attorney Jake Evans also claims seven people didn't sign their absentee ballot as required by law, and numerous people voted illegally by absentee ballot because someone not allowed by law requested the ballot on the voters' behalf. This case confirmed mail-in ballot fraud is a real thing. It is happening. The I-Team examined Long County voting records on our own and found at least six instances where citizens voted twice, and not at just one precinct, but at four different precincts. But I have no clue how people voted twice. I've never tried it, I've never wanted to try it, so I guess that's why it blows my mind. Deputy Secretary of State Jordan Foose issued this statement. It's clear that Long County has dropped the ball and failed to maintain proper procedures. And she added, our office will aggressively pursue the fullest extent under the law to hold each double voter accountable. I think there's no validity to it. Teresa Odom thinks it's all much ado about nothing. She won the probate judge election by those nine votes. She and her lawyer, Luke Moses, aren't buying the claims of fraud. They claim they can disprove virtually all of the original allegations by Judge Smith. They had not seen the new complaint with the new allegations when we conducted this interview. You've got someone who's upset that they lost an election and can't go out with any semblance of grace. The Long County Board of Elections issued a statement saying they've opened their own investigation of double voting and will prosecute anyone if necessary. They note that so far they haven't found enough double votes cast to change the outcome of the probate judge election. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.